Good morning. Welcome to Sacred Heart Catholic Church. Our Mass is offered for Barbara Dur Durasek, requested by Beth Hardin. Please remember to turn off your cell phones or place them on silent mode. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent, and our celebrant today is Father Bruce Barnett. of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And be with your spirit. Today we celebrate Gaudete Sunday, um, and it means rejoice. Today we light the rose candle on the Advent wreath, and the priest wears rose vestments to express our communal joy in the coming of Jesus, our Savior. Traditionally, this is the day that we decorate the church with poinsettias and other decorations in preparing for Christmas. We rejoice because we are celebrating the day of Christ's birth. We re recognize his daily presence in our midst, and we wait for his return in glory. 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. O oh God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Joy and gladness for 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The crowds asked John the Baptist, what should we do? He said to them in reply, whoever has two cloaks should share with a person who has none, and whoever has food should do likewise. Even the tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, Teacher, what should we do? He answered them, Stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, And what is it that we should do? He told them, Do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone. And be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts, whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the shaft he will burn with unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached the good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First, I want to give credit to uh, Marty Glibis, I think was the name inspired this homily of an article I read by him. The theme of, uh, that unites all of the readings today is joy, especially when we are experiencing difficult circumstances. In today's first reading, the prophet Zephaniah prophesied about 600 years before Jesus was born, in the turbulent years before the Babylonian exile. The Israelites had been burdened with war 